Welcome to another video. This question is from the American Mathematical Association of two-year colleges. So if you're, you don't have a bachelor's degree, you are in an American two-year college and you love mathematics, you should attempt these kinds of tests. Just, just look for them when they happen. I think they happen twice a year in spring and in, in the fall. Look for them. Now, something about these kinds of questions is you just need basic knowledge of math from pre-calculus, from algebra, from... There's even no... I don't even see any calculus in it. Okay? Once you're able to think and you practice good math, you should be able to answer this. Now, this is what we have. We have options. You'll always have options on this test. So this is a question from 2005. And it says, if M, which is a matrix, is this matrix and N is another matrix of this form. What is M raised to power 2005? It means if you take M and you multiply M by itself 2005 times, which of these is going to be your answer? Just be smart. You'll get the answer. Let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do whenever you get a question like this is to start multiplying. <laughs> okay. Now, usually when the number is, incre in, uh, is incredibly big, you know that you're expecting a pattern to show when you start multiplying. My solution is going to be M times M times M times, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to do that. 2005 times. And whatever I get will be my answer. However, I know they do not expect me to do this 2005 times. So maybe I should first do it. Let's do the first two together and then maybe one more time and maybe one more time. Maybe by then we're going to see where it's going. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to multiply. So firstly, let's do it here. Um, let's do m squared first, m times m. So m squared is going to be m times m. And that's going to be this matrix 0, 2, 5, 0, 0, 2, 5, 0, multiplied by 0, 2, 5, 0. What do I get? Remember matrix multiplication. A row multiplies a column. So 0 times 2 plus 2 times 5. That's how you get your answer. 0, sorry, 0 times 0 plus 2 times 5. That's going to be 10. That's what's here. Then you take the same row and multiply the second one. 0 times 2 plus 2 times 0. That gives you 0. Everything there is 0. Here it's going to be the same thing, this times this. So it's going to be 5 times 0 plus 0 times 5. That is 0. And then 5 times 2 plus 0 times 0. So that's going to be 10. 5 times 2 is 10. So now you've got this. Amazingly, this is the best thing that can happen in a matrix. Having only your main diagonal having entries and the entries are even the same. Now, it doesn't matter if they're not the same, but this one here makes it easy because this is 10, this is 10, everything else in your matrix is zero. This is a diagonal matrix because the only, all the non-zero entries only appear in the diagonal. And this actually can be rewritten as 10 times a matrix that looks like this. 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the transformation of this matrix. Because if I multiply this matrix by 10, it's going to go back to this. Well, what is this matrix? This is the identity matrix, right? <laughs> So m squared is actually 10i. So we can go here and say that m squared is 10 times the identity matrix. 
for a two by two. So this is a two by two, n equals two. Well, I don't need to write that. This is I two, let me just write this here. So you know that it's for the two by two ma square matrix. That's it. If m squared is 10i, then I can go back to the original problem, m to the 2005 will be, um, I need a square. Well, I can write it as m to the 2004 times m. But I don't want to write this as m to the 2004 because I already know what m squared is. So I can write this to be equal to m squared to the 1002 times m. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you see, I have halved this power. Instead of 2004, I wrote 1002. And now what is my m squared? It's 10i. So this is equal to 10i raised to power, let me just put this to show it's a two by two matrix, 1002 times m. Okay, let's see where this leads us. This is gonna be 10 raised to power 1002, I'm just applying laws of exponents and then i raised to power 1002, i raised to power 1002 times m. What do I get? It's just 10 to the power 1002 times the identity matrix multiplied by itself a million times is still itself, it never changes. Look. If you multiply this by itself, and no, matter, no matter how many times you do it, you'll keep getting the same answer. It's always one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, all the time. So this is just gonna be the identity matrix multiplied by M. But the identity matrix times N, that's why it's called the identity matrix, is like one, one times five is five. It doesn't change M. If you multiply this matrix by this, you still get your M. So the answer here, is 10 to the 1002 times m. So I go and I ask myself, why did they give me this? It was a distraction and a detraction. This is the answer. There's nothing. So the correct option is option A. Let's go. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.